San Juan, stage four. Here we go, 2K to go, Bora on the front, quick step on the left, UHC on the on the left. Trek Tre Fredo on the right with Ryan Marlin, who just won the stage yesterday. Um, it's a great stage, love this race. Fernando Gaviria has already crashed out, so quick step will change their tactics. Gone for the local man, Riqueze, the Argentinian, hoping he can give a good result for them. You can see Lotto Sedal are just behind quick step there on the left-hand side. Quick step now have four riders on the front, and it was basically a battle between uh, Riqueze, Peluki, and Bonifazio. Bonifazio, the Trek rider, hasn't really done much recently, and Peluki, again, he's like... He's not the best sprinter, but he can get a top 10 here or there. Um, so, yeah, it was a fast run-in. Not very technical, to be honest. I think there's one right-hand corner with about 600 metres to go, um, maybe even less than that, and the rest of it is pretty chill. The only problem with this is that the the, um, the TV footage is shocking. But anyway, you can see a quick step on the left with four riders. Um, they haven't gone late. Normally, recently, they've gone been riding a lot like more conservative and basically just smash it at the very end. Um, but now they're really just like, right, let's lead from the off and see where we can go. Bora on the left-hand side, as we're looking at the moment, not really very organised. Lord of Sedal now moving up, now on the left-hand side. Um, so on the right-hand side of this picture, as you can see. And Quickstep are now down to three riders. You can see the peloton's been reduced quite a lot. There's quite a big mass, but most people, there was only maybe three sprinters, I think, who could have won, which was Paluki, Riquese, and... Um, and Bonifacio, so you can see Bora on the right hand side, this is absolute chaos, Quick Step are looking pretty in control here, and Lotus Sedal on the left hand side are looking relatively in control as well. Um, Trek seem to have a lead out, but they sort of lost their main sprinter, which is a, a bit weird, and a lot of this, often in these races there aren't enough lead out men, so under 1k to go, people often just choose to sort of go freestyle and see what they can do. So, again, Quick Step here look like they've sort of messed up, because they've got one guy, second wheel, and then Riqueze and Hodeg, I think, is his lead-out man, are a little bit behind, and there's all a bit chaos. You can't really see much because the TV camera is a bit rubbish, but they'll, they'll improve, don't worry, just before the finish. So you can see here there's a bit of chaos, um, and uh, Bahrain Merida, I think, have, have some riders who they want to get in position, but they're mainly going for Nibali, so that again, they're a bit disorganized. There's just a lot of chaos in this race. So you can see here, this is the most important part, Bora on the front now, leading well, and you can see there's a quick-step rider just behind him, and when this quick-step quick step rider pulls through you'll see that Riquez is on his wheel and he just buries every other lead-out train. They're so close to the finish that because he gives such a big advantage already, you can see as soon as Riquez starts sprinting, he's just got the win. Um, so we'll watch that again, um, and you'll see that the lead-out man, Hodeg, just destroys the other guys because they're so close to the finish. It just means there's no way anyone has time to come around. It was a really weird sprint. They didn't... No one really... Like, when that lead-out man... Look here, the lead-out man goes forward and just delivers... Um, Riquez in the perfect position, but the other guy should have been sprinting there instead of just leaving it for, leaving it later and leaving Sabatini for the, I'm sorry, Riquez for the easy win. Um, so anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next.